name is Eileen Perez and I'm an astrophysicist and this is what happens when a meteoroid enters Earth's atmosphere. So first let's talk about what a meteoroid is. A meteoroid is a piece of debris flying through space and they have a wild range of compositions and sizes. So we're not talking about an object that has a lot of um, this, of the same properties. So like every meteor is different from the other one. Uh, so because of this change in composition and this change in sizes, the, what happens to them through the atmosphere of Earth is actually going to be very different depending on the meteoroid that we're talking about. So another thing is once the meteoroid enters the Earth's atmosphere, I'm going to start referring it to as a meteor because that's what we refer to meteoroids as they go through the Earth's atmosphere. So the first thing is that they're coming in with an incredible speed. I mean, the range of speed is about 10 to 70 kilometers a second, not an hour. Uh, this is a main cause for, for them to actually burn through the atmosphere. So as they hit, as they go through the Earth's atmosphere, they're going to encounter air, uh, molecules, all these gases, and this is going to create a lot of heating. So what happens is that the actual, uh, the atoms in the, on the meteor surface are going to start to get excited. And what happens is that they're going to heat up really quickly and the temperature can rise up to 3000 kelvins. And what happens here is you're heating up this uh, meteor and it's going to start vaporizing. So you're practically disintegrating the actual meteor. Uh, meteor. Now, depending on the material of the meteor, you can get completely disintegrated or not. So maybe some of it will survive all the way to the surface and some of them, and most of them, they just vaporize in the atmosphere. Um, once they hit about 100 kilometers deep uh, in the atmosphere, um, you're gonna get uh, the meteor, you can kind of visualize as this rock, it's gonna hit like a plasma. And a plasma is just energized particles and this is really, that front of that plasma is what really is going to vaporize the meteor. Um, a lot of times we also, um, when we're dealing with this kind of like air friction, what happens is that it will start to crush the actual meteor. And occasionally we see these things explode. So what happens is that if you have a force resisting the fall, so here the meteor is coming in this way and you have a resistive force opposite to uh, the direction of the meteor is going to start creating these fragments and eventually will just crush the, the meteor into parts. And uh, depending on the composition of the meteor, the meteor will actually explode. So these are the two things that it can happen to a meteor through the Earth's atmosphere. It can actually burn or it can actually explode. And this all depends on how far it goes into the Earth's atmosphere. This depends on the composition and depends on the size of the meteor. My name is Eileen Perez and I'm an astrophysicist and this is what happens to meteoroids when they enter Earth's atmosphere.